Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so last night I decided to try to solo the opposite dungeon. I had done a bit of Parasite before, but uh, I just uh, decided to try to do the opposite since I have more this morning. So, um, I think I streamed for about seven hours. <laughs> So that means I was literally playing this for seven hours straight. Um, but when I shut the stream off, I told myself, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the game down for a little bit, get me some breakfast. If it's still in there, it has a kick me, then I'll keep going. I'll try to." Um, so yeah, it actually didn't kick me. Um, so I was only able to record the last 15 minutes of um, the encounter because I did actually finish it, so I'm very happy to say that I did complete it. Um, I just needed a break, I guess. So I was getting very frustrated and there's just a lot of little things that, uh, you know, just make you cause to have silly deaths. Uh, for one, sometimes, like, his... His uh, little um, thing that he shoots at you, the main boss, that throws you back. Like, I would be way past it and it would still take you back in. And spawning bit where I couldn't land on something. Um, just little things like that. I tried all kinds of different setups. <coughs> um, I tried Jolt. Um, but. I ended up uh, finishing it with the setup I thought was best for this sort of thing, so, uh, which was the uh, Riptide, uh, the Chill Clip, Trinity for the ads. And, uh, no, actually, I, I thought I was going to end up using a Linear, but I ended up using a uh, Hothead because of uh, uh, it, it was like too much to deal with the snipers and do DPS on the boss with the linear. So, the nice thing about rockets is he's you up to just kind of take care of whatever ads are shooting at you. Um, so I decided to go back and record a little commentary over this because I, I didn't really speak much. Um, I was just really focused in. Uh, I realized the trick to this is when you first drop down into this part that you're seeing now, you just you just gotta go for the nights. Um, I kept trying to find a little corner I could hide in, or you know, just something I could kind of do damage from. But it's literally uh, I switched from booty cheek clap to um, to shoulder charge, and the nice thing about that is it blinds them for a good amount of time. So uh, you'll see a couple times I blind one and then attack the other. Or I just blind the one I, I, I just want to finish off and, you know, because it was real tight. But like I said, the trick too was just to slow things down. Um, like right here, I always made sure I always went back to boss DPS with full ammo. That's both fusion and heavy. Um, so I found, you know, I found a little hiding spot I could, right after I, I cleared the first um, guy who hangs out in the corner. It, it gets a lot easier, but it's just getting that first one done in the room. That's, that's what it's all about. Um, I would kind of leave it up to luck. Whatever the first night I killed, if it was light or dark, I thought I'd make sure the next one was that. And I, I would focus on just trying to clear out the Scions. But that first part, when you're trying to get that first corner cleared out, so you have a little safety area, um, you just kind of, kind of, kind of have to ignore them. I mean, I would throw my storm nade. Um, I try to clear the ones that would get in my way, but my main focus is just to get those two knights down and make sure I get matching elements. Uh, there was a couple runs where I'd have bad luck, where like you know, let's say um, I happen to kill the knight in the dark, and um, all three corners would end up being like light. I would try my best to, you know, get them down again, but I mean, if, if, when you have the three guys in the corner just pounding you with a uh, shotgun and 
um, all the ads duplicating themselves, it it just gets overwhelming. Um, but once you have the safety corner here, you can usually just sit back, let the scene again, I'll just you know, pop off with my uh, Trinity to make sure I created heavy. And uh, plenty of um, fusion rifle ammo. So, um, my advice to anybody that tries to do this, at least for this portion of the uh, dungeon, is slow down and just. You know, focus on what you got to do. Um, just get that corner down first. It doesn't matter which one. Just get one of the corners down, and then after that, it gets pretty easy if you have. Um, well, my my time has max resilience, so my shield comes up very quickly with the barricade. For DPS, I would always try to use my rockets when he's jolted. Like right in the beginning, I would hit him with three rockets. Um, and focus my attention towards getting rid of the snipers. Put myself a little cover hit by them and fusion rifle uh, this fusion rifle it does pretty decent deep, like a pretty decent amount of damage actually oh right there I probably just figured I could just shoot a couple rockets into them um, but for the most part I would try to use them when, when they were jolted I guess I was just getting a little tired here I was just trying to finish them off quick um, there's one funny thing that happens at the end of this damage phase here funny now in hindsight, but at the time, it, it, it really had me pretty upset. They're not upset. I just, I couldn't believe just um, how close I got to finishing the three phases. I ended up, um, well, little spoiler, um, I ended up having to go one more phase after this. I think that was the difference maker right there. It was literally... yeah. That's funny, I stand behind that pillar all the time and it never pulls me back. That time I decided to. Jolton, fire my last rocket. Up with my super. And look, his health is still going down. He, he was just left with the tiniest bit of health. <laughs> That, that's me actually saying uh, cursing there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I'm just going to let the rest of it just kind of play out. I think I said about everything I wanted to say. All together, um, I think I cut the stream at 7 hours, and this was the second attempt I came back. So, it took maybe all together less than 8 hours, but about 8 hours or so. I, I did not think it would take me that long, to be honest. But, um, you know, I kind of like to finish things. I've been wanting to get that little bunny ghost for a while, so I finally got through it. That's the good thing. You can see right there, I just go straight into shoulder bash, blind that guy. Adds everywhere, storm nade. Make a quick little circle, try to get some health back, but all the guys are shooting me with their shotguns. Circle back around, get the modes. And the modes are so broken in this, this dungeon, too. I can't stand them. I know he's still around here somewhere. As I was making circles there, I was also kind of checking just to make sure light was good, which it was. There was a couple times the boss here in the corner would kill me as I was dunking, so I was trying to regain a little health there before I went up there, but. Fuck it. Okay. Nade the ogre. And boom. At that point, it's a done deal. Uh, just create myself some heavy, special. Um, I don't really need much if I have left with its health, but it's just, just what I usually did. This is my routine, so I just left it. Alright, guys. Um, if you have any tips or if you'd like any suggestions or anything, hit me up. I didn't show my build on this one, but uh, if you watch the stream, you'll, there's plenty of opportunity for you to see me mess with my build. Alright, well, thanks for watching.
dust, hero? It hit me when you were tearing that last pack of Taken apart. What the Nine are trying to say. Light, dark, it don't matter. Light and dark are not the same. Didn't say the same, just the difference don't matter. I'm a bunny. I'm a bunny. I'm a bunny. <laughs>